Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. Excuse me. Oh, hello. That was out loud. <laughs> Thursday, Robin. That's right. Come on, Lair. Yeah. Story number six, uh, Axe Body Spray. It's popular here in the States, but it's a really big deal with farmers in the UK. They use it on male sheep to block hormones and keep them from fighting with each other. They spray orphan baby lambs and ewes with the same scent, and it tricks the ewes into thinking the lambs are their own. By the way, in the UK, Axe is called Lynx. But it's the same product. Farmers say not all scents work. The scent of choice, mm. Lynx Africa, which is marketed as a deep and sensual mm. scent. Oh. Mm. Cool. Number five, pickleball courts. They might be the new pickup joints. According oh. to a new report, more young people, usually older people are on pickleball courts, yeah. but young people now, they're choosing pickleball over bars and dating apps. They mm. say it's a good way to meet new people, possibly make a love connection, all while learning a new sport. So that's an option. Hmm. You don't you always wonder if it's like two people that have met someone yes. at Pickleball or whether it's like a whole trend with a whole generate, you yeah. know what I mean? Right, yeah. but I, you know, I, you know, no shade on anyone who met their spouse in a bar or on a dating app, but you know, Pickleball court is a little more romantic in my mind. Mm. Sure. Not yeah. for me. I could blow out a knee. I mean, it could be, it could be, <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to think about it. You want to be in the spectator section. Yes, yes. All right, number four, now's the time to sell that old gold jewelry you're not wearing. Since the beginning of this year, gold prices have increased more than 15%. Analysts for Citigroup say gold could top off at $3,000 per ounce in the next 18 months. So check your drawers. Those old chains or rings you're not wearing could be worth big cash. All right. All right, number three, have you heard about the sleepover debate? It's a big deal on social media right now, which means it's probably not. Uh, parents are saying that they won't allow their kids to stay overnight at a friend's house, especially if they're not good friends with the parents. Others say it doesn't matter who it is, they're not allowing their kids to stay overnight with anyone, not even relatives. Then you've got the Gen Xers, whose parents let them stay just about anywhere with anyone, yeah, and didn't give it much thought at all. Hmm. Thoughts? Any thoughts? Well, you, you got to know the parents that you're sending your kids to. You think? But you don't? Yes. yes. I mean, it. What? <laughs> yes. Of course. I mean, yeah. right. I, mean yes. I don't even know why that's a story. I mean, yeah, so. Well. Right. But the not, it's, I think the real question is to not let them go, at, like, stay overnight anywhere, even relatives. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, you well, got to know, know your relatives. I don't know. Also, oh, no. sorry about that. I'm it's like, okay. girls, do you want to stick? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Uh, we're looking at more unusual hobbies, and this one really intrigued me. It's called pocket cottaging. Huh. Well, that's what you call it. Yeah, people who make <laughs> miniature cottages tiny enough to fit in candy or mint Tins. Oh, oh, come brother. on. They create an entire little scene, like a cabin, some trees, and a lake. And mm. when they're done, it fits into the palm of your hand or into your pocket. Hence the name Pocket Cottages. I was reading all about it, and I saw this great comment online that said, I've never tried making a pocket cottage. However, I have tried making pocket cottage cheese ones. <laughs> <What? laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, all right, number one, uh, let's talk about one of our favorite topics, Uranus. Mm. All right. Um, Uranus was discovered by accident. Was uh, it? An am yeah, an amateur astronomer named William Herschel designed his own telescope with the help of his sister Caroline. On March 13, 1781, Herschel looked through the telescope, and that's when he first spotted Uranus. Oh. He was pretty far away from Uranus at the time. He yeah. thought it was a comet at first, uh, but Uranus looked more like a flat disk and Uranus moved too slow uh, yeah. to be a comet. So Herschel reported his findings, and those findings were confirmed, which is wonderful for the world and, of course, for Uranus. I like how he gives his sister a shout out, which probably means that she did most of the work yeah, and yeah. she yeah. her small brain yeah. can't yeah. find yeah. Uranus. Is, is there a backstory on what the name, the choosing of the name? That's yeah, Pat, yeah, is there? The backstory is he's awesome. That's yeah. the backstory. <laughs> Larry will no, find out no for us. No backstory needed. That's All a six right. at six. Thanks, guys.